Sadak Ram Prasad Sain was a Shakta poet and saint of the 18th century in Bengal. His bhakti poems, known as Ram Prasadi, are still popular in Bengal. They are usually addressed to the Hindu goddess Kali and written in Bengali. Stories of Ram Prasad's life typically include legends and myths mixed with biographical details. It is said that Ram Prasad was born into a tantric family and showed an inclination towards poetry in an early age. Ram Prasad later became the disciple of Krishnananda Agamavishya, a tantric yogi and scholar. Agamavishya was a well-known devotee of Kalima and the author of the Bengali book Tantra Sa. Agamavishya instructed Ram Prasad in tantric sadhanas and worship of Kalima. Ram Prasad devoted most of his time to sadhana. Forced by poverty, he moved to Kolkata and worked as an accountant for a monthly salary of 30 rupees. During his employment, Ram Prasad would write devotional songs to Kaliba. His fellow employees were appealed to see Ram Prasad write poems in his account book and reported him to their employer. The employer, upon reading Ram Prasad's works, was moved by his poetry and literary skills. Instead of dismissing Ram Prasad from work, he asked him to return to his village and compose songs for Kalima while continuing to pay his salary. After returning to his village, Ram Prasad spent most of his time in sadhana, meditation and prayer. He performed several esoteric sadhanas including standing neck deep in the river Ganges, singing songs to Kali. Ram Prasad would regularly practice his sadhanas in a panchavati, a grove with five trees, banyan, bail, amdaki, ashoka and people, all regarded as holy in tantric tradition. He would reportedly spend hours meditating on a Panchamundi asana, an altar inside which are internal five skulls that of a snake, frog, rabbit, fox, and man. He had a vision of Kalima in a form of Adi Shakti Mahamaya. Ram Prasad was very fond of taking part in Kali Puja on the night of Diwali, the festival of lights. On one Kali Puja night, he performed the puja and sang throughout the night. In the morning, Ram Prasad carried the jar of Divine Mother's sack to buy water on his head to the Ganges. He was followed by the devotees, who carried the clay image of Kaliba to be immersed in the Ganges after the night of worship. Ram Prasad waded into the holy river until the water was neck deep, all the while singing for Kali. As Kali's image was immersed, Ram Prasad left his body. This was believed to be around 1775. In Bengal, popular stories and legends are told of Ram Prasad. One of the most well-known stories is about a radiant girl who helped him one day. Ram Prasad was repairing a fence with the assistance of his daughter, who left shortly thereafter. Soon a radiant girl, whom he didn't recognize, came to help him. After finishing the task, she vanished. According to the story, Ram Prasad then realized that she was a manifestation of Kalima. Another popular story is told of Ram Prasad's vision of Goddess Annapurna of Varanasi. Ram Prasad was on his way to the river of his daily ritual bath when a beautiful young woman stopped him, asking if she could hear him sing a devotional song to the Divine Mother. Ram Prasad requested her to wait, since it was getting late for his known worship. When he returned, he couldn't find her and began to think that it may have been the play of Divine Mother. Sitting down to meditate, he was surrounded by radiant light and heard a female voice saying, I am Annapurna. I came all the way from Varanasi to hear your songs, but alas, I had to leave disappointed. Ram Prasad was angry with himself and immediately left for Varanasi to find Mother Annapurna and sing for her. After walking many miles, he reached Triveni where he took rest under a tree on the bank of the Ganges. Here he reportedly received another vision, saw the same mystical light and heard the mother's voice saying, Stay here and sing for me. Varanasi is not the only place where I live. I pervade the whole universe. Ram Prasad Sain is regarded as one of the notable figures of the Bhakti movement in Bengal during the 18th century. He is credited with popularizing the Bhakti Shakti tradition and Shama Sangeet, devotional songs to Kalima. Ram Prasad was the first Shakta poet to address Kalima with such intimate devotion and to sing of her as a tender loving mother or even as a little girl. After him, a school of Shakta poets continued with the Kali Bhakti tradition. In Shakti Giti, he shares the most intimate relationship with Kali Ma as child, who can both love and quarrel with his mother over the iniquities of human birth. If you like this video, do subscribe this channel.